you know I had to do it to him, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is me, ya boy, tired as fuck. And today, we are going to be revisiting a topic that is dear and near to my heart. However, first, I would like to get a little bit serious with you guys. If you have seen the video that I posted on Twitter and or Instagram, go follow me there if you want more cringe. I was extremely busy for the past month. I had a lot of college work to be done, and uh, now that I was successful in finishing all that work, I now have a pretty clear schedule when it comes to being able to control things my way. Due to this now, I can properly work on a lot of things to bring to you guys. So, see the next uh, summer as an apology from ya boy. One of those things that I would like to do is, well, this video right here, which I will try my hardest to post this on the exact date than my first ever YouTube video last year. So, let's go for this, let's try and get this, this is to you JP, the editing boy, like for fuck's sake, do the editing properly. Fuck you. Let's talk about the topic that made this channel start in the first place as a one year celebration for me not wanting to fucking blow my brains out after being in this platform for a year officially. So, if you haven't watched the video from last year, I do not blame you, I sounded like fucking Mickey Mouse when doing that. Let's be fair, you don't need this! You can put any other caption here, the, the beep! But if you don't know what the topic is, or this is your first video, let me explain. Last year, I made a video talking about how a lot of accounts on Twitter, not safe for work accounts, were using anime, gaming, and cosplay, these three words, as keywords on their captions. And the reason why is because Twitter would pick up on those words and with its algorithm would put it on topics related to that. So, you know, a post that talked about, you know, anime would be on the anime topic. A lot of these accounts exploited that and, you know, were able to get a lot of promotion from that. Now, it's been a year, Elon Musk has done his bullshit on the platform and yet the problem still happens to this day, so this video is still topical. Now, I would like to say that this is not a personal attack on any Not Safe For Work account or any person that works with Not Safe For Work content. I actually admire Not Safe For Work content, as you can clearly see, because I still pull no bitches. There are a lot of accounts out there in the world that do promote themselves without feeling the need to use these keywords for promotion. Uh, however, some of the accounts that do use those words are um, owned by my grandmother. Don't ask me how I got access to this. I do not fucking know. There are still a lot of accounts here on, you know, the, the most blasted platform of them all that, you know, still use these keywords. But between then and now, you can actually see a lot of changes. Sorry that I'm looking a lot on my phone. This is where I got the images from. First of all, you actually see just like you saw with this account right here, the word Netflix. Netflix is now a word that they use to try and get themselves some free promotion, which is ironic because Netflix is actually losing its client base due to the fucking choices they've been doing for the past few months. So, uh, great timing there, bots. Uh, you did not work that well. You, uh, you have no brain. Like, Netflix still has a lot of, you know, accounts using it as a way to get promotion, especially this one account here that, you know, I'm seeing that it uses the same exact caption, Netflix and Smash, Netflix and Smash, Netflix and Smash. At some point it just gets tiring, but if you want to make fun of this uh, account, don't you worry, I have a little bit more ammunition for you guys. In their bio, they still have hashtag crypto in 2023. Uh, again, a poor sense of timing from the Twitter bots. Now that I'm actually looking at it, I have a sneaking feeling that... Why do I have the feeling that this pictures are made by an AI. Two of these pictures have the exact same facial expression, they have the exact same lighting, and well, it would make sense with the crypto hashtag on their bio, because, you know, people that are into crypto are probably into AI as well. You know, it's, it's, a, it's not a Venn diagram, it's a fucking circle. Don't you damn worry, 
anime is still probably the most preferred word. But the second change that you are going to see, or at least the second change that I actually saw when doing my research all of these people is that you will not just see english speaking accounts doing this exact same thing no you will actually see accounts from the spanish and portuguese circles doing the exact same thing if you don't know which you probably don't because i uh, trust me the portuguese language is a very difficult language i mean it's my mother's language and sometimes i still fuck up with it the word anime uh actually is a real word in portugal the word Anime, spelled the exact same way as anime, means to entertain, to animate. So, when you say that you want someone to entertain you, you would say, anime. So, it's the exact same word, just said in a different way. And the same thing applies to the Spanish language as well. Now, why am I holding a pen? Because I want to be a teacher. And why is this important? Because a lot of these accounts actually use that word in that way they use the word anime as anime so it's you know more appropriate for the language but because twitter is fucking dumb and does not know that multiple languages exist they will see the word anime think that it's talking about anime and it's still just going to push this in the same way that it would a normal anime post so that's another like it's that you get the fucking point now so many accounts that are doing this uh, make me want to fucking die. Like, for example, this one right here. That, you know, if I were to translate the caption, it would say, someone that entertains or someone would be entertained to come inside of a pregnant woman. It's it's super safe. Girl, you already are pregnant. I, I How? Like... I'm actually speechless trying to answer this. Um, I do not know how it's going to be super safe. I mean, I was never taught sex ed. Portugal doesn't have sex ed. I, 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 I'm lost. I, I'm virtually lost. I guess you lost it. Or how about this woman right here who just decided to say her whole stats. 54 years old, natural, free of children. What grade would you entertain yourself giving me from 0 out of 10? I... I, I, I the, the, the translation doesn't work, like, it's, 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 it's like, uh, it's just forced. I cannot, no, physically comprehend the need as to why the fuck. Now that I'm looking at this properly, though, I can tell one thing for them, sure, those are not natural. Like, I'm just gonna say, you are bullshitting. Uh, remember, on the original video where I also talked about a PS5, how they use the PS5 as well? If not, trust me. Comparing yourself to a video game console somehow is a strategy that works. Like for example, this person right here, who I've definitely seen a, that exact same picture on a different account. Would you rather come on my chest or the PS5? And then below that, me on the PS5. But well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If you have to compare yourself to a video game console that has no games, just to get my attention, I'm going for the gameless console, okay? And I'm a PlayStation fanboy, okay? Like, I have a PlayStation 4 right fucking there from like 2017 or some bullshit. I'm still playing FIFA 18. It's like the only game I play on my PlayStation. Trust me when I say this, the PlayStation 5 has no games and I would still pick that over a woman like this. Now, Saying all of this makes it think like, again, I'm against this type of content creation. I'm against people wanting to promote their not safe for work content. However, that's not the truth. Like I said in the beginning, I actually enjoyed this type of content in more ways than one. Yes, that one is the most, you know. Um, so, you know, in the same vein that there are people that use keywords to try to get themselves some free publicity, like I said in the intro, my pen fell. <laughs> there are a lot of people that do not use keywords to try to promote themselves. One of these strategies is actually by asking people questions. Just, you know, a little bit of interaction. So for this final part of the video, what I'm going to do is I grabbed a lot of pictures from a lot of people doing not safe for work content and just asking traditional pictures. So on the spot, right here right now i am going to answer to all of them in the most truthful way possible so that you can make fun of me on discord let's fucking go this how's everyone's day going i mean it's been going pretty well than a lot of 
school work today, recorded this video like eight times, I was just not happy with any of that, you know, traditional 21 year old things. One anime do you think would make a cool game adaptation or vice versa? Wow. This is actually a very cool question. Like, if you want to, you can answer these questions in the comment section as well. Probably Bocce the Rock if you turn it into a rhythm game. Like, you know, like, like a anime rock band, probably. Like, that could work. Where would you take me to vacation? Somewhere that is not expensive. Should I get you anything from the store? Maybe a new leash? Nah, I don't really need one. Come watch the new episode of Black Mirror with me on Netflix. Now, I would do that, but I hear that American Black Mirror fucking sucks, so might as well just pirate the British version. Do you like Bunny Girls? I mean, I, they haven't killed my father or anything, so I cannot hate them. General Andrews, how would you program this? I would because I know nothing of programming. How's the view? Well, if you stand to the side, I would probably be able to, uh, you know, look at it. Like, I need you to get away from the window to, you know, that. Do you like my swimsuit? I mean, it probably works as a swimsuit, so like, every imagine what it would be like walking on water. Honestly, yes, I have imagined that. It would be really fucking cool. Have you seen my uniform anywhere? Uh, it's over there next to uh, Katie's locker room. My staff forgot to give you that information. Uh, I will punish them. I will punish them properly. Like, don't worry. If you were an emoji, which one would you be? What's the most Portuguese emoji that isn't the Portuguese flag? You want this Christmas gift or not? Bitch, it's May. What the fuck do you mean Christmas gift? Hi. Any last words? Polyrhythm VIP. What would your mom think if she knew you were jerking off the cat-human hybrids? I don't know, probably dances herself away from the bathroom and just... Let me be. Mitsuru from Kimetsu no Yaiba. How about a bikini version? And she is wearing a bikini. Look in the mirror, fat. You're right there with a bikini. What would you usually wear at home? Pajamas, really. Right now, I'm wearing my pajamas and then like a piece of sweatpants over them so that I don't look like I'm, you know, not that professional. So, you know, may, may just... Why am I doing this fucking experiment with the questions? <laughs> So that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it just isn't as energetic as it is normally. I'm just kind on that vibe of just being chill due to the fact that with all the work that's been done, now I just want to relax a bit. But I still hope you enjoyed the video a lot. Like I said in the intro, get ready for a lot of things this summer. I have a lot of things planned, a lot of videos, a lot of uh, songs as well. If I am able to actually finish them like an artist does. I'm actually going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek with this one. I'm trying to do a mix for August. A uh, little mix to celebrate the fact that five years ago, I started using FL Studio properly. I started doing mashups on there. You probably heard me talking about that on my insurgency mix last year. This time, it's a proper big mix. So, uh, get ready for that as well. If you guys want to recommend any video topics, put them down in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on my social, subscribe to this channel. I am now doing proper YouTuber things. You cannot say that I'm not ready for this job. So, uh, you know, um, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, see ya. I still have a pen. I don't want to break my pen. <laughs>